Hi Libra, welcome to your July 2021 monthly reading. And to start off, yesterday was the 24th of June and that was the full moon in Capricorn. And so Libra, that anything you have in Libra is going to square Capricorn. And so you want to take a look if this sounds important to you at your natal wheel and look anywhere within seven degrees of that three degrees in Capricorn to see how that's affecting you or if that full moon of yesterday and it's still going on and it could have been affecting you also four days before or before and on in to July as well. And today being the 25th of June, uh, <laughs> Neptune, excuse me, went retrograde in Pisces today. And I believe it was 23 degrees. And so it's going to start going backwards. And that will go direct not until um, December 2nd of this year. Okay. And then we are going to have the new moon in Cancer on the 10th, if you're in the U.S., July 10th. And that is 18 degrees. And so you might want to look and see if you have anything conjuncting, opposing, or especially squaring Cancer around that time. And then the full moon is going to be again on the 24th of July, and that's going to be in Aquarius 1 degree. Okay, so let's get started with that. Libras, what is going on with... My Libra, general reading, sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon for Libra for now through July. Libras. Sun moon rising north or south nodes of the moon for Libra. What card what do you need to know for July for Libra? Okay. I'm just getting squirrely there. Let's just pick one here to start with. Okay. First thing up is for some of you with this card, you see that you've got things swirling around and around, and some of you could be making you a little crazy, um, swirling around and around in, in your head. Maybe a lot of things you're thinking about, and you're just going round and round and round. I just keep replaying in your head the same thing and that could very well have to do with absolutely the retrograde planets retrograding because we still have we have Pluto that went retrograde I believe it was May 2nd in Capricorn so it's retrograde right now and it won't be direct until October and then we have Saturn that went retrograde as well in Aquarius, 13 degrees, on May 23rd, and that will be retrograde until October as well. So, and then of course I already spoke about Neptune just today, and then we just had Mercury go direct on the 20th, which was just several, five days ago. So, we're still rocking and reeling and spinning from all of those and it looks like some of you Libras are still spinning so let's see what else let me see what else I can get yeah I'm also getting for some of you it doesn't matter what you do or, or have been doing and this could be in the past for some of you but you weren't making any headway 
you, you weren't able to make any forward motion. You were just kept cycling and, and cycling and circling. And again, that's for some of you. And, and two, if you find that this reading is not appropriate for you, that is perfectly all right because it's going to be different for everyone. You will then, you would like to check out your moon if this is your sun sign or your um, rising sign or even your north or south nodes of the moon because it's going to depend on what transiting planets are hitting your natal planets right now that will depend upon the most significant monthly general reading for you. Okay. All right, so okay, let's see here. I've got two more, so let's. Hmm. Just a minute, let me just take a minute here, Libra. So again, some of you have been out of balance and maybe that's what's coming to you now. You have been this way, out of balance. And now, this is what I'm seeing is this either this month, um, you will be coming into balance or you already are coming into balance and you will, you will just, um, that will keep um, the, throughout the whole month of July continuing to become more and more peaceful and balanced for you. And some of you are gonna become more secure also. And some of you who are having trouble, have been having trouble sleeping, you will also be able to be able to calm down so that you can get a good night's rest as well. And some of you might be having some dreams in this month of July, significant dreams, prophetic dreams for some of you, once you're able to sleep peacefully, or maybe that could be waking some of you up and that could have already happened or it's going to happen sometime in this from now through July. But it's going to bring clarity. It's going to bring clarity. If this is happens for you, whatever this is, it will bring clarity and balance back into your life or continue balance, more balance into your life, more secure, more peaceful. And some of you, your intuition is increasing where you didn't have it. What, things weren't clear before, they will be clear. Your intuition clear, crystal clear, I just got for some of you. And I'm also drawn to her tummy. Um, some of you, you're birthing something. You have either planted your seed for something to grow, or you have been and you're going to see forward motion. You're going to see fruition for some of you, but definitely you're going to be, um, definitely the seeding process is definitely starting for all of you and you're of course you're going to be in different areas of your life in different time slots so that will depend upon when it actually comes to fruition but you're definitely from now through July you're planting seeds for something to grow in the future or near future for yourself and some of you could physically I just got be pregnant or become pregnant from now through July. Okay.
whatever this birthing is, you, the birthing process and the finalizing of it, the, the actual coming out into the physical, it's going to be such a very beautiful, rewarding time for you. Very high in self-worth and security and peace for yourself. But it's something also, I, I'm getting for some of you, this, whatever you have been dreaming about, wishing about, planting and watering your garden about, um, it's very close to your heart. It's very precious to you. And because um, I'm noticing, I'm almost, I feel like there, there's that lady there. I don't know if, if you can see her in this bottom section here. And she's, to me, she's, let me see if I can. She's caressing. She's caressing that. She's just loving this into fruition. That's what I'm seeing for you. And that, that's what I'm seeing that you are doing for yourself or whatever this is. And this could be a combined um Someone else, this might be with you and your partner, if those of you that have a partner. So that could possibly be either on your own by yourself or with someone else, whatever that is, Libras. But you are, you've been nurturing it, you've been loving this, whatever, you've been watering it and, and um, feeding it the proper nutrients, and now you're just or you are start going to start doing that in this month of July. Okay, that's beautiful, Libra. Okay, so let's see what else. Let me do this. Let's see what else comes out for you, Libras, in the tarot. Okay, that's beautiful so far, though. So you are really either started just recently started or you will be beginning to with earnest in earnest with great loving care and nurturing something into fruition something that's again that's near and dear to your heart Libras Sun Moon rising north or south of the moon that is beautiful okay And male or female, it doesn't matter what sex you are. It does not only pertain to the female sex. No, because you males, you nurture things you love. Absolutely. You have your own manifestation, specialties, and ways. And each and every one of you, male or female, are unique in your abilities and your manifestations and your um, ways to bring things to fruition for yourself and others. So yes, because of this loving nurturing that you are doing or will be doing, it's going to be coming back to you. This is the Knight of Cups, and that's what I see. You're putting this out there into the universe. You're sharing it, and it, that is beautiful energy you are sharing freely with others, and it's going to be coming back to you. going to be, if you're not already, again, um, allowing your love to flow freely and sharing it with others. And maybe that's, that's what you've been working on. You've been working on your personal self. You've been working on your personal work, some of you. You've been working with your north and south nodes of the moon astrologically, which is each and every one of our personal work for the new viewers out there that are just watching me, beginning to watch me. 
I am an astrologer of 25 years and that is what I specialize in is the north and south nodes of the moon each and every one of our individual personal work okay and I also want to give a big thanks and shout out to all of you subscribers if it's not for you I wouldn't be here and being able to transfer and um, share with you what I have learned through all of my life so far. Okay. And so I thank you, all of you, subscribers and viewers. Okay, what else? So. You could, some of you could be expecting some loving messages coming into you now through the month of July, and they're going to touch your heart. They're going to touch your heart, and I'm also getting, for some of you, it's going to assist in you, um, your heart opening up and being able to flow your love, your naturally. Okay taking you out of this swirling, this cycling um, thought process that was kept bringing you down is what, I, what I'm getting. Whatever this was or is for some of you um, that you can't get a conclusion to, it, it's coming. It's coming. And it's a very positive, very loving, very flowing, opening, balancing um, time for you, message for you. Okay, what else? For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South, oh, yes, okay, Queen of Wands. Yes, you're ready. I was drawn to that sunflower. She's holding full bloom, so that's you. That's you, something. Whether it's you personally or something you've been nurturing and loving is coming to fruition very soon, Libras. And it pleases you. It increases your self-worth. You are all the way into your soul and brings you that balance that you have been seeking and working towards. I'm getting to working towards... Oh, okay, and I was just drawn to the cat, the black cat. Some of you have been working with your, on your personal journey, with your north and south nodes of the moon, or you're about ready to start and you're, you're desiring to bring out those secrets, those unconscious, subconscious, um, because that's where we're all born with our north and south nodes of the moon, and they are put into our subconscious, so we do not know consciously what they are until we bring them out into the conscious realm so that we then can finally stop cycling in that same cycle and take care of them and move forward and be free free flowing for some of you this is what's going to enable you oh to to balance out to become freely flowing open your heart and your love and just be who you truly are by facing whatever this is, just um, by reading, by reading or listening to your South Node. You can look, if you're new and you haven't looked up your North and South Nodes of the Moon yet, then um, they're on your natal wheel. The North Node is the upright headphones, South Node, upside down headphones. And there's going to be a placement in the zodiac, a zodiac sign placement and a house placement. And so you want to look up both of those. And if that sounds right for you right now, if you're one of those that are ready, then all you can check out my past viewer request readings. I have done about five or six of those. And if they might be one of yours, if they're not, and you'd like to leave me a comment or, and you want me to read from my karmic astrology book, which is the best that I know of that tells, it lays it out there. It just lays it out there so that you can take care of it. And, and you'll see, you'll see that it's true. It's, it's right on. 
Okay, so if it's not right on, then you need to take a look at your exact time of birth. That could be off. So that would be the thing that would make anyone's natal wheel um, a little messed up and not correct. But otherwise, no. So again, just leave me an email or a comment below what your zodiac sign is or house placement sign, and I'll be happy to read a general reading for you. And I, again, it's um, anonymous. I don't give your name unless you want me to. No. And you will be helping not just yourself, but every single soul out there also that has your same placement. Okay. And I'm also being drawn to say, too, for some of you, you might want to check out uh, your Chiron placement, too. What your Chiron is, sign and house sign, because that might be affecting some of you right now. I just got possibly, if especially if it's um, squaring, conjuncting, or opposing this full moon in Capricorn, or... Um, well, even, even the Cancer New Moon or the Aquarius Full Moon, okay? Because we're having eclipses, and that's major, so that's just for someone. That's a side note, okay? What well, else for Libra? Whoa, okay. Yes, look at that, the sun. Look at you, Libra, yes. Whatever, okay, okay, with this message... Whatever this message is, and this could be something like I was just speaking about, some of you I feel are going to be interested in your north and south nodes of the moon and reading them for the first time, listening to them for the first time, you're going to be gaining information, message from that major, and that's going to bring you this um, emotional peace inside, in your soul. And then that's, you're going to be sitting this is this is your energy then is the king, queen of wands who she look at all that self-worth peace self-worth she's very strong very compassionate um she knows who she is she knows uh her desires and dreams and how to make them come to fruition there you go and so because of that there here here's the sun the sun has come out, the sun is shining, your heart is open, you are um, receiving whatever you've been nurturing or beginning to nurture or wanting to, and maybe first and foremost, it's yourself. It's yourself, okay, for some of you. But you're going in the right direction. Keep going, whatever you're doing, and um, keep digging. I just got two for some of you. So, because you're also, this is going to, that red is your root chakra, and that's your security base, Libras. So you are also, when you are taking care of this, taking care of this, whatever this is, you then are solid also in your security base, as well as your self-worth and making whatever you've been nurturing come come true and come out and blossom. Okay, so let's see, let's go deeper. Let's go deeper and see what else we can get. First, I'm gonna start with this Knight of Cups. Let's go deeper with this Knight of Cups. Okay. Okay, so what else? Give me some more. Okay, it's Knight of Cups. Wow. Okay, so you got two for the Knight of Cups. Wow. Wait. Okay. Wow. You have the Ace of Swords. Yes, you're breaking through and becoming, you will be victorious in whatever. Whatever you're desiring, nurturing, or about to start nurturing, you're, this is taking you out of this. You will be victorious. Look at that. You will be cutting through whatever you need to cut through and 
for some of you, it has to do with um, whatever's not serving you anymore. You're, this is maybe for some of you, it's the final thing uh, that you're letting go of. You're, you're bringing out into the open, in, into your conscious awareness so that you can let it go and you can move forward and it's fast moving. Once you do that, this is the eight of wands, um, it's fast moving and you will, whatever this nurturing is, whatever you have been nurturing or whatever you will start nurturing, it's going to come to fruition quite qu very quickly for you. And or the message is going to come in quickly for you so that you can complete on getting whatever cycle that you, those of you that are completing a cycle, will complete and so and it has everything to do with more information some of you are going to be needing more information bringing into your conscious awareness whatever that means for you it's going to be different for each and every one of you but you will be victorious absolutely and cut anything out and this will be taken care of message again coming in quickly and you will be able to the sun will shine, Queen of Wands, beautiful. Okay, so let's let's get some more details for and I'm getting with this ace of swords. Whatever you're cutting through, it's going to give you mental clarity. You will have mental clarity so that you can stop going in this circle, keep forever circle, forever um, cycle, 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 oh, forever cycle. Oh my gosh. I have to say north and south notes of the moon, Libras, those of you that are still in this cycle and you can't get out, you will, you absolutely will. When you bring into your conscious awareness your north and south notes of the moon, you will be able to break that cycle once and for all. Wow, that's huge, Libra, that's huge. And it's going to be a huge relief, a huge relief. And again, I'm just drawn to this water at the bottom, free flowing, your stream, your river will be free flowing, your emotions free flowing, you will be able to flow with life. And balanced again. Oh wow, balanced. Balanced like you've never been before. Okay. Okay, so the Queen of Wands. Let's get some more details with this Queen of Wands. Yeah, whatever that is, I was drawn again to the cat. So whatever this is, Libra, you either have faced something, some secret has come out, or you have faced something of your subconscious um, that's been stopping you. You faced it head on or you will be, again, you will be, and you will be victorious. But I was drawn to that black cat again. Okay, and then we have, yes, okay, the death card under, under the Queen of Wands, which tells me, again, what I was just saying, you will put to death whatever you subconscious, something subconscious that has been stopping you, that has been keeping you in a cycle and it's going to be different for all of you you all have different north and south nodes of the moon and so but you will it, um, you will bring that into your conscious awareness or you will see the necessity this month for some of you to go ahead and bring that into your conscious awareness to deal with it once and for all. That's beautiful because you will be putting something to death. Something is ending. Something is ending. And some of you might not be too happy with it. I'm getting. But once you... I don't mean to be harping, but it just keeps coming to me. So. Someone is needing to hear this, um, or those of you that haven't um, found out what your north and south notes of the moon are, 
um, it's just, I just keep getting that that is what's necessary because that is the bottom line. It really truly is for our um, the cycle that each and every one of us continue and most die going in that same cycle and never ever get out of it because um, astrology has been kept from us and genetically, genetically, all the way back to um, the which is being burned at the stake. So I'm being called to say that, so someone needs to hear that. And, and so we've been scared into not, um, not digging into and being interested in astrology, true astrology, and specifically our own natal wheels, and even more specifically, north and south nodes of the moon. I don't know of any other astrologer, which was so shocking to me. I, again, I have been studying this first and foremost for myself, 25 years, and now continuing still um no one i was floored i was floored to find out that astrologers are not they're not seeing the essentialness not even their own north and south ones of the moon so this is my this is my contribution to all of you and to humanity and to this Aquarian age. Okay. All right, so then let's see. Okay, the moon. Okay, the moon just came out under the sun card. Okay, first and foremost, I'm seeing balance. Sun and moon, balancing. So through these solar eclipses, not just, but well, it could be just through um, July, but I'm getting, for some of you, through all of these eclipses, even through August, it's balancing you out. Look at that. And um, the, the moons, the eclipses are important to you. They are significant to you. And especially, like I said, so you, each and every one of you want to check out and see which ones are, because they're not all going to be significant. Maybe for some of you, they will be, but not necessarily. It depends on what different planets and what your north and south nodes of the moon are and, and how they correlate to the full moons and the new moons coming up specifically now, just as of yesterday. And then next month, J July, and then also August. Okay. And you also received, oh, look at that. Well, the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. You are, you're closing the cycle. And look at that. This is, this is, to me, this is abundance in whatever way you see abundance. This is what you're going for. This is what you've been nurturing for yourself. And so you just keep going, keep going because you are, you're manifesting that. You're manifesting that steadily, so slowly, but surely. And you're going to get a really big jump in opportunity in being able to catapult yourself in these next, uh, specifically now through July. So that's beautiful Libra. Oh, that is so, so wonderful. Okay. So let me, let me, I'm going to put these up here like this. And we're going to get one more card before I close this reading for you Libras. You have very, very, very beautiful lives ahead of you. Freeing yourself. That is very beautiful. Okay. Cutting through whatever you need to be cutting through to your victory. That is so beautiful Libra. 
and you're going to be coming out. I was just drawn to the swans on your card. Yes, you are becoming more and more your beautiful, unique selves. That's what you're bringing out. And that is, that's tremendous. Okay, let's one more. Let's see, one more card for Libra. Stand still. Look at that. So, take time. I'm getting one for some of you. Take time for yourself, for your own time, a personal time, so that you can ensure that you stay balanced and calm and peaceful within yourself and open and open to receiving and whatever these messages that's coming, whatever information um, that you are needing to receive in order to get out of this cycling. And some of you are healing and some of these messages absolutely healing for you, absolutely. And I'm just hearing slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race, Libra. Wow. Because you are becoming a beautiful swan. Okay. That's all I have for you, Libra. You have a tremendous month of July. Okay, until next time. Bye.